So as we stand right now, I mean, what is the Yankees' starting rotation going to look like in the postseason? I think they're still putting the pieces together. I think they're, they're, they're you know, their top two are pretty much solidified with Garrett Cole and Nestor Cortez. I mean, Nestor Cortez got a little bit of a break recently with a groin, and but he, you know, he had a decent start on his way back. But I think he'll be trending in the right direction too. Those two seem to be the most reliable of the two guys up front. Cole is the horse, the thoroughbred, and Nestor Cortez is his partner in crime is number two. But I, after that. Depends on are they going to hold a three man rotation or a four man rotation? If they do hold a three man rotation, and I was just talking to Derek about this from an NYY recaps, we were talking about this, and I do think Domingo Herman has solidified himself and and basically to the point where they can rely on him for that third rotation spot, but also be able to put Luis Severino in long relief, which I think would be a wise idea for this team rather than trying to risk putting him in the, in the start in the starting rotation and risk him getting hurt again. So, to me, a couple of dominant innings a couple of times a week from Severino will go a long way. You put him and Clark Schmidt in there, that's a dominant-ass pair for long relief, in my opinion. Now, if they're going to go to a fourth man, okay, it's got to be between Tyone and Montez. And now, I mean, I worry about Tyone's health. I mean, I, and he could, his arm could just blow up any time, but he's been pretty consistent. He's, fat. he's like 13-4, and four, so he's been a mainstay with the Yankees this year. He's been gotten better. So, and he's given him length as well. But I just worry about his health. Now, Frankie Montez, he's been the most hittable of the pitchers. And I know he's a new acquisition, and he hasn't really done all the things that people want yet and whatnot. And I get it. It's been a relatively slow transition. But he's had some good games. He's shown the promise. He's shown what he can do. So, to me, I don't know what to do to decide. Because they, they paid a lot for him in the trade in Oakland. I don't know whether Tyon gets the nod for the fourth or Montez gets the nod for the fourth. It's probably, Tyon probably right now has the lead based on his performance as a Yankee. But there's still a month left to the season. So, this to me is, is the question of the day. Like, how many starters do the Yankees go within the rotation? I think it's a smart idea to go four. But, we'll see. They can, they can rotate him each round. You, you, know, you can change the lineup each each round if they get that far. They might they might change things around, but a three man rotation means you know they're going to face teams are going to face Cole and Cortez two or three times each. So can they withstand it? We'll see. But make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that smash that subscribe button, smash that like button too if you enjoy this content. Because we're going to keep talking about this stuff, and you know we have a month left, less than a month left to the baseball season. Twenty one games to be exact for the Yankees, and uh, there's some games to be won here, some games to be played, and the Yankees. I mean, their, their reinforcements are coming. They're getting healthy, but uh, they're not all there yet. You know, there's a lot of guys coming. And again, the key, the, I mean, to me, the question they I want to talk about is who's your playoff rotation and why? Okay, to me, it's Cole, Cortez, Herman, if it's three. Cole, Cortez, Herman, and, and if it's four, then between Tyone and Montez. But Tyone has a little bit of an edge right now. But we'll see who, who stays healthy and performs for the rest of this for the rest of the season. They each have a couple of starts each, and so does everybody else. So we'll see what happens. But let's talk about the starting rotation today. And then we'll, we'll do a video, we'll pivot over to lineup, we'll pivot over to the bullpen too and, and whatnot. So, But uh, it's now really time to start for us prepping. It's time for us to start prepping, I should say, for the postseason, baby. Yeah, it's time. Let's go.